Welcome everyone back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. My name is D-Free here today. In this, we will be using a full Vegeta team, updated full Vegeta team. I believe I've done it in the past, but it's been a while. Last time I did a full team, I think it was Goku. So you guys did ask me at that point to do another Vegeta one, so we will be doing that here today. But like I'm saying, like the Goku one was like a couple months ago, so maybe you don't remember. I'll try to remember to put it in the description as well if you want to check that out. But a couple of other ones that I want to do that I'm going to be doing is like Gohan. I've done a full Trunks. I've done full Zamasu before, like, when that unit first came out, the LR, and I had access to it. So we'll be doing some of those again, jumping back into some more of those meme teams as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. For today's recommended videos, we have the final Jump Force gameplay. I will be coming back and doing my thoughts on it over the course of, like, the next week and what I thought about the beta. So check that out at the end of this video. It will also be in the description. Otherwise, below that, we go over the upcoming movie of Dragon Ball Super Broly's plot, and we talk about all of that there. So to begin... Let's go ahead and jump into this. So we are taking on the new Buhan event. So, or the new Super Buhan event, excuse me. Regardless, same thing. Now, this event is week two. I believe power bestowed by God. So pretty much Patara, but a little bit of blur there. We're like Gohan and stuff like that. But nonetheless, um, it, it, none of the units here are going to be able to utilize that too much. So it's not a big deal. So, of course, when it came to the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas, unfortunately, their name is Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. Just like every other one in the game. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to bring, like, Int or anything like that. So, I'm not able to include some of the better options on the team as well. But I did try to pretty much bring some of the better options otherwise. So, we have Super Saiyan 3. Uh, we also have GT Super Saiyan 3. Also, because we don't have the GT and then other Super Saiyan 3 that Global has yet on JP, I don't believe yet. Other than that, we have the lone SS4 Vegeta. Maybe we get a new one hopefully soon. And then other than that, for the last spot, I chose the support unit. Of course, the LR was going to be here, but I chose the support Super Vegeta. There was a couple of other options like Super Saiyan 1 Vegeta tech or physical or things of that nature. But for the most part, I like this build. So also there was some Super Saiyan 2 Vegetas that I don't really have a lot of orb invested into. So I didn't want to go with that. So orbs. So we're going to start off. Um, I'll let the friend be here and do his thing. He is Rainbow Star. Mine is not. I need that one more dupe. So... We're going to see the full power of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Because we'll probably see some transformations. We'll probably see uh, a lot of critical hits. Because when this unit gets going, he gets going. So I'm excited for that. All right. So we get a critical hit here. All right. And, of course, uh, the crits will mainly come post-transformation. Because if you didn't know, until he transforms, he every attack he does pretty much raises his defense number up a bit. And then post-transformation, every attack he does gives him increased chance to do critical hits, which is insane. I still need to come back and do the West Supreme Kai showcase because her coupled with a transform Vegeta is disgusting. Or like those Vegitos that do multiple hits or counters or things like that. So we'll be doing that soon as well. So we're going to jump in and do this here. And no crit, unfortunately. All good. All good. All good in the hood. Uh, another additional. One more. One more. One more super, super, super. Ah, there we go. Cool. So, for the people that are not accustomed to Vegeta, his second and third attacks are built in from the passive. The fourth one that he just launched a super from was from the potential system. The fourth one can be a super attack. The second and third are guaranteed normal attacks. They cannot be super attacks. So, if you're not familiar with that, now you are. So, we'll let this Vegeta stay here alongside the LR for that beautiful over in a flash link. Um, we get five key here. That's a little too much because that triggers the ultra super. I guess it doesn't really matter, but we want to avoid the Ultra Super. Per normal with Majin Vegeta, because the Ultra Super with him, and only with him, in fact, is weaker than his uh, 17 key super. So almost the best attack he could get possible right now. Of course, we're not doing any damage, unfortunately. <laughs> but after this turn, Buhan will go ahead and regress. So we'll see what happens next. No crit. Also, I did a video with the LR Super Saiyan Goku, or LR Goku and Frieza, nonetheless, uh, from the Tournament of Power, of course, the new one. And we went ahead and beat this Buhan before he got the chance to transform. Make sure you check that one out. That was a lot of fun last week in the description for you if you want to check it out. If not, that's fine. But he's going to go ahead and lose access to Gohan Spod. Oh, look at Vegeta. He was staring at that pod, too. <laughs> he was ready. All right. So, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here actually is really good for the type advantage. That being said, he also shares the GT link, but I want blue. I want blue here. So, I'm going to kind of like do that. I don't care. 
Uh, no, not that. This. So where's the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta's defense at? Almost 100k. A little bit lower. His stats are just a little bit lower than uh, SS4 Vegeta right now. But he, of course, has a higher ceiling than SS4 Vegeta does just for the fact that he can transform and stuff. Which we might, like I said, get access to the transformations. Also, I think he, he still has a couple more attacks he can do to raise his defense, which will raise it to about the same level. It's really interesting when you look at them. They're kind of like the same unit. Just Vegeta's like what you would consider like a direct upgrade. It's weird because... There's the SS4 Gokus, and they're honestly really, really similar. The STR1 and then the Tech uh, Full Power Goku, they're honestly really, really similar. Like, Tech Goku's not that much better, but um, it's just he's a direct upgrade, for the most part, anyway. So I guess we kind of see that here. We're just kind of playing into the thing I've been talking about for a while, how the game's been doing pretty well with balancing their units and stuff. So we will let you have these... Looks like Vegeta's going to struggle for key if I go that way, so. I mean, I could do this. I mean, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we do still get the super here. I was worried that we wouldn't get that super in the last spot. These Vegeta's don't link super well, particularly the LR. Wonderful lose this guy's passive tanking this. He really needs an Extreme Z Awaken, so hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. He really needs it. All right, 2.1 million attacks that. We're going to come through with no crit, unfortunately. By the way, oh, we get the additional, by the way. That's a crit, huh? Yeah, it's a crit. Um, after this turn, he does go ahead and regress to the Piccolo Absorb. So after the Piccolo Absorb shows up, he starts healing a ton of damage or a ton of HP. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens from there. We are getting a lot of critical hits, a lot of attacks through with this Vegeta. All those have been critical hits. You would think he was transformed. Super, 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 super. Ah, man, literally all critical hits. Wow. Those were all natural from the potential system. He just got really lucky there. He also has to take a super, though, unfortunately. No, Vegeta! 56, not too bad. Oh, go tanks! We're looking at that pod! Why are we about to snatch that pod out? <laughs> oh, look at that ugly face, bro. <laughs> Where am I going to get the transformations? I want to see the transformation, man. Yeah, so Vegeta's defense, Vegeta Blue's defense, the couple of extra attacks he got shot him past uh, the SS4 Vegeta's stat. A little slow, but he got there ultimately. Uh, 117 versus 133. Attack stat for, is in favor of the Evolution Vegeta a little too. But also some of that's the support because I think Evolution Vegeta has better stats. Maybe not. Uh, 15,500 versus 10,000 defense. He actually has less attack, but more defense. Whatever. Anyways, moving on. Like I said, they're very similar units until Vegeta decides to transform. Which is a testament, honestly, to how good those SS4 Goku and Vegeta cards are. They, they've just been so good. They're the ones that changed this game to being all offense for a really long time. So, unfortunately, we do get hit with the super attack. There's no neck having him. Okay, there we go. He even healed on me. He even healed on me. Stop silent, bro. Alright. Hopefully next turn we get a transformation for Vegeta. By the way, I think that it's you have a 30% chance after four turns or whatever the case is for Vegeta. You might have to be below 80% HP, something like that. I'll pull it up. I forget the restrictions for these units at this point. They get pretty crazy. Oh, we might get double transformations next turn. That would be best case scenario, actually. I think at this point we've lost his, his, uh, his passive. But also he can't be stunned. So, But I guess it doesn't really matter. First spot's still a good spot for him because he's going to heal. All right, the defense for my units should be high enough otherwise. In the meantime, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, where you at, boy? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I legit am looking at the list of Vegetas. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine because it makes sense. I'm looking at the list of Vegetas right now, and I'm like, wait a minute. I was kind of, The whole time I was building the team, I was like, I feel like I'm missing somebody. I feel like I'm missing somebody good. And I'm like, what the heck? So I'm looking at the list of Vegeta's right now, and I'm like, wait a minute. I totally forgot that there's the freaking Vegeta and Bulba. 
It's fine though because we're using pure Saiyans. Uh, he lost access to Piccolo here. It's fine because we're using pure Saiyans, right? There we go. Um, and he's not in this category. So that's why I didn't see him. And I was just going through the pure Saiyans list because obviously all the Vegetas would be there except for the one that gets shafted. Good news is the friend Vegeta transformed and he's the one that's at 100%. By the way, now that he's transformed, he can trigger those links there. So let's see what he can do. Defense did regress a little bit, though. Actually, no, not too much. I think it's about the same. Anyways, his offense is going to be through the roof here. So we might get lucky and pretty much finish this guy off here. All right. In the meantime, like I said, I still need to pull up that restriction. Uh, evolution, 30% chance to evolve starting from the fourth turn. All right, that's it. So once four turns have passed, you have a 30% chance. Oh, my Vegeta just lost some attack. He just debuffed your boy. Debuffed your boy. Alrighty. Oh, it skipped the animation for that attack. That's fine. So no additional super either. 1.5 million attack stat. Again, the same thing. The second and third attacks will always be normals. But each attack increases his critical hit rate. So he did not launch an extra attack there. I'm going to try to postpone one more turn just to see that Vegeta. Because at this point, everything he does should be a critical hit, by the way. Why, why, did, the, why did the OST change? I, I know it's because Vegeta's not here, but please. I, I really like that other one. I don't want you to super, LR. I don't want you to super. I don't mind if you super, though, because you're low-key not going to do anything. So, But you can defend well enough, so that's fine. Okay, no additionals. Of course. <laughs> of course. I just freaking jinxed it. Looks like we won't be able to postpone because somebody decided they wanted to finish it off. He even stunned him too. Well, I guess that is it. He was like, I don't know why you play in D. I'm the best Vegeta. And I'm like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you have any new more content. Let's get today's video up to 800 likes. If you enjoyed today's video and you also want to see more similar videos like this. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll get all of you, catch all of you, excuse me, in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Look at that face, bro.